yeah let us see what is the use of aggregate functions how can i apply <coughs> here first aggregate function is sum so let me take the data from table emp select emp and go comma salary from <coughs> emp yeah i want to find out sum of all salaries then select sum of salary from emp then it will display total salary you are paying to employees yeah next one average how can i find out average value from the given column see i want to know average salary of employees working under department number 30 working under department number 30 so average of uh, salary okay from emp where department number is equal to 30 so what is the average salary here average of salary is 1566 i want to round up this value i don't need any decimal digits how can i round up this by using round function or by using trunk function you can round up these values see here let me take it as a trunk of average of salary trunk of average of salary see first it will find out average salary value from department number 30 it will find out average salary from department number 30 and that output means this is the value this is passed to trunk function here trunk function will remove decimal part why because you are not specifying how many number of decimal digits so by default number of decimal digits it will take zero see so it is rounding up the average salary 1566 next i want to see the highest salary from the depart from the employees working in 20th department so highest salary means maximum function max of salary and from emp where department number is equal to 20 you are requesting about highest salary from department number 20 so the highest salary is 3000 okay and now <coughs> what is count and count star see a minimum function is there it will get least value i want to find out the least salary among all employees so how to find out least salary minimum of salary from emp it will display least salary from all employees next one <coughs> what is count count will it will count number of not null values in a column number of not null values in a column see i want to know how many number of employees getting commission if an employee getting some commission so commission value should be not null for that employee again i am repeating if an employee getting some commission then employee commission value should be not null <coughs> see here some employees getting commission and some employees not getting commission i want to find out number of employees getting commission so if i count only existing values i don't want to count the null values if i count only existing values which is nothing but number of employees getting commission so according to physical data how many number of employees getting commission four employees are getting commission yeah let me count select count of commission from emp then count is considering only not null values and it is making count from those not null values finally it is displaying four so four employees are getting commission then what is meant by count star what is count star see count star is a function to count number of records so i want to know how many number of employees working under de department number 10 or otherwise see 
I want to know how many number of employees from the department accounting. So accounting is the input value from department table and you want to count number of employees in EMP table. So in this case you should use subqueries where department number is equal to select department number from the EPT table where department name is equal to accounting department name is equal to accounting see here from accounting how many number of employees are there three employees are there so this first subquery is executed from the subquery you are getting department number value of accounting that department number value passed to outer query in the outer query it is counting number of employees or it is counting number of records having the value 10 automatically it is getting number of employees working under accounting department <coughs> ok <coughs> so this is about aggregate functions now let me discuss about numeric functions under uh, scalar category what are the scalar functions see here select abs of something some value abs of 10 from jewel what is abs it will display absolute value of given value it will display absolute value of given value here it is displaying 10 absolute value in the sense just it is removing positive sorry it is removing negative sign and then displaying resultant value i am submitting minus 10 then also it will get only 10 next what is the next function is mod mod of m comma n so mod function will display reminder value after m divided by n after m divided by n here m means 50 that is divided by 4 after that dividing operation what is the resultant value reminder value it will display 2 is the reminder and next one square root what is sqrt sqrt in the sense it is a square root so square root value of given value suppose you are giving 70 then it will display something points also remember <coughs> And next one, what is power to the power of m to the power of n? Power of so 10 into 3, 10 comma 3, not into comma 3. Then 10 into 10 into 10, it will display the value 1000. Yeah. And next function, round, the most important functions, round round of m comma n let us say 32.425617 comma i need two digits after decimal point i don't need these many number of digits what is happening so actually it has to display 32.42 32.42 but before displaying to last nth decimal digit it will verify n plus 1th decimal digit here n plus 1th decimal digit is equal to 5 or if it is above 5 then it will make an increment the nth digit will be incremented by one digit that's why it is displaying 4 3 if you need only one digit after the decimal point here also it is verifying how many number of decimal points you need how many number of decimal digits you need only one digit then it will verify second digit if the second digit is above 5 or equal to 5 it will make increment the first digit by 1 say here here first digit 4 as it is it is displaying why because the second digit is below 5 it is not equal to 5 it is not above 5 okay suppose I don't need any decimal digits 
let us assume here 5 is there and here I don't need any decimal digits so it will be rounded to 33 why because after decimal point first digit is equal to 5 so the above example is similar to this the n value is 0 or you are omitting the value n in both the cases it will be rounded to the integral part remember next the same case will not happen in trunk so trunk function cannot increment any digit it will not verify next digit ok so now see same example this the previous example and current example both examples are same but a round function is rounding the value up to 33 trunk function is truncating the value up to 32 that is the difference next what is <coughs> floor function let us see for this value I am applying floor what is floor function floor function display immediate integer below given value immediate integer below given value 32 immediate integer below given value ok in case of seal what is happening say immediate integer above given value immediate integer above given value that is 33 now <coughs> what is greatest so let me write greatest function will display highest value from given values and expressions here 10 plus 20 minus 5 close this comma 200 minus 192 yeah close this and after that 100 into 4 comma 100 into 4 so each one direct value remaining all our expressions so from dual then what it will display the highest value from the given expressions and values the highest value from given expressions and values what is the least value minimum value so here minimum value is least then apply least function then it will display least value from the given expressions and values remember that so these are the functions related to number type of data and these functions are called as scalar functions if you are if they are applicable on single input value they will generate single output if they are applying on 100 number of input values you will get 100 number of output values that's why these functions are called as these functions are called as scalar functions in case of aggregate functions they will be applied on column data only they can be applied on column data only and you are unable to apply aggregate functions on your own data remember this point ok if I apply some function on a salary column what is happening 1 lakh salary values are there all values will be added together and finally you will get only one output value any aggregate function will result only one value again any aggregate function will generate only one output value but a scalar function if you apply it on group of values you will get group of output values so that's all about group functions and numeric yeah group functions and scalar functions related to numeric data only we have done with this part only <coughs> but we need to discuss about character functions <coughs> they are also called as uh, string functions 
date functions and conversion functions before that we need to go back to views why because in views we have discussed up to simple view and composite view we did not discuss it about force view and inline view and materialized view so generally materialized view and inline view both are depending on group by class having class and also this one aggregate functions that's why we have discussed aggregate functions now let me start group by class and having class